the flag falls and away they go. Initially, Ray Malik made a great start uh, from the centre of the front row and uh, as he got up to the first corner, you can see the car suddenly leapt in the air. It wasn't touched, something broke in the back. Something in the, uh, in the drivetrain broke. The car leapt up and uh, it uh, was essentially out of the running thereafter. But uh, these superb little cars going through. Julian Mazou, uh, oh, the carburetor has fallen off. That's the problem. <laughs> carburetor has fallen off his, uh, his saddler. And uh, Jonathan Hughes there just taking uh, the place away from our eventual winner. The U2 did get back into the, uh, uh, into the pits. And uh, there's a big, big lockup. Fantastic stuff. Here's Jonathan Hughes leading Hibbert and Colasacco with the Fiat powered Stingolini owned by Lawrence Soriana. Big spin for Mark Woodhouse who hung a rear wheel on the grass coming out of Madgwick but uh, didn't go all the way round. Leading by away at this point was Stuart Roach in the pale blue Alexis and Jonathan Hughes uh, out here. They've got the car disrobed there to find out what the problem was. The Jocko Special out of the race. That's uh, Nigel Russell from uh, New Zealand. And that brilliant uh, manoeuvre, which could all have gone so badly wrong. He, he was looking at an awful lot of wall there, wasn't he, for a moment? <laughs> he was. There was a red and white car and a, and a red and white wall. And there uh, is the sad sight of our long-time leader, Stuart Roach, abandoning the, uh, the Alexis. And uh, he hit his disappointment quite well, I thought, when he climbed out. But uh, it's one of his old mates who's gone on to win the race, and it's uh, uh, Andrew Hibbard. Isn't it wonderful? After you see the race, you have an interview with the top three, and the guys who are second and third don't get upset about it. They've had a great time. I mean, I've been insulted by Alan Menu. I've been strangled by Ricard Rydell. Very grunty Nissan engine in the back, as we heard down there on the start line. 